Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q2 of the weekly contest 297, minimum path cost in a grid. So this is kind of hard, to be honest, for Q2, if you ask me, um, because this is dynamic programming. Uh, sure, this I think this by now, this kind of dynamic programming is um, very common in the code. N not so much on interviews. I mean, actually, probably something that I would expect on interviews, but still a little bit hard for Q2, if you ask me. So, but then after that, it is just, um, yeah, once you realize that it's dynamic programming, and if you practice enough for it, this should be pretty okay. I think the, the number one thing that you should do is look at constraints, and seeing that R and C, I've got R and C, because M and N is confusing as hell, um, is less than 50, so you can do something, uh, um, I was thinking that maybe I need to do something better, but, no, this is pretty, pretty Gucci. Uh, I'll, I'll, um, but yeah, you can do the math later. I'll show you how to do it. But, but the way that um, you know, there are a lot of grid problems where you're trying to go from the top and to the bottom. Um, so if you have issues with this problem, please go back and review those problems because I would say, like I said, even it is definitely hard for Q two, um, but. Uh, because if you didn't have the dynamic programming uh, practice, this is probably going to be a little bit unreachable. Even though you can maybe reason some of this out on greedy by itself, but you know, dynamic programming also has a greedy component uh, in terms of optimization. But but as a result, um, like you may be able to work it out. Actually, maybe I'm wrong, but having that foundation lets you work it out very quickly. After that, it's just about setting up and connecting the, the edges in the right way and adding stuff together. Um, to be honest, I was very, I don't know why looking back, I was very slow on this one. I think I just took a long time reading it, just honestly, just reading it was the issue. And I had, I, I don't think I wrote code. Oh, I, I yeah, reading it was the issue. And then I forgot to add the, 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 the cost of the sell as well, so I just had to go back and change it because I couldn't figure out why it was um, not working. Because I, until I, I think I saw this part and I was like, oh, we had to sum. But yeah, but this is, oh, wow. Actually, I left in, I, I kept, I had this for debugging. Um, luckily, this is an inside loop, but I would have caught it. But uh, <laughs> whoops. Um, but, but yeah, but this is honestly, relatively straightforward in terms of dynamic programming, but still tricky if you haven't done it before. But the idea here is greedy and trying to uh, brute force in a smart way. And how do we do this brute force? Well, we uh, and maybe if I was at home home, I'm in Aruba right now, uh, I would draw it out. But the idea is looking at every cell other than the first row, you could do it the, the other way as well. But let's say we look at the, the first, uh, sorry, the second column, the four and the zero, uh, oh, sorry, the second row, the, with the four and zero, right? And the idea is here to say, okay, four, what is the cheapest way to get here, right? And the cheapest way to get here is from looking at the previous row. Okay, if I came from the first uh, first column, what would be the cost? What would be five plus 14? If, it, if we came from the second column, what would be the cost? Well, three plus 18, dot, 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 all the way to all the columns. Obviously, this is only two columns, but you can imagine it all the way through. And then you repeat the same thing for cell zero. You go, okay, if I come from the five, how much would it be cost? If I come from the three, how much would it cost? And so forth, dot, 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 right? Um, and then now, on the once you finished row two, uh, or the row index one, if you zero index, then you do the last row. You go two, okay, what is the best way to get here, right? Well, the four... The best way to get to the four is, you know, we, we let's say we always stored it somewhere. I actually don't know what that is off my head, but uh, but but is five plus fourteen plus four, right? So then we go okay. So the best way to get to here from four is going to be twenty three. The best way to get from zero to here is going to be I'm guessing five plus three plus zero. So that's going to be eight. So okay. So let's take the path that takes eight, right? Oh, plus nine, I guess. So, I mean, but you do the math and then you just minimize it all together. So this is brute force in that way is that for each cell, so these two together will give you the cell. For each cell, we look at each previous cell. Uh, I actually don't know which one I set it up, but, but it should be the same either way. Um, okay, so here, um, at, 
cell or uh, J, we look at the previous row, rows I, I've column. And then all this stuff may look a little bit tight, but it's just adding them, right? Because the previous best, this is the, um, for the previous I've column, this is the score that we have. And this is the cost that they give you in the, in the, in the, uh, in the problem. So it looks confusing, but it is, you know, just that. Where you look up the sales value, and then you look at the move cost, and then you have to add the grid, you know, the cell itself. And of course, at least the way that I did it, you could do it another way. The way that I did it, I don't count the cell that you're moving to. So at the very end, I, I have to add that cell back, and that's why I have it here. Um, cool. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for this one. Uh, actually, I lied. So basically, you can see that this one is O of R times C times C. Um, and each of them being 50, it should be fast enough. Um, and in terms of, uh, this, this is time. In terms of space, well, we allocate a U, new best every time, and this is going to have O of C. So this is, you know, space, kind of. You can also say that it's just O of C space, um, depending on how you want to do gar garbage collection counting, um, because in theory you should reuse it, but it's fine. Uh, but yeah, so th that's the thing. Um, I did make an optimization here, so you can't do it in a more naive way with with uh, all time C space in either case. But uh, but yeah, and I think you could do it recursively as well. But I was just doing it bottoms up. Uh, cool. That now I think that's all I have for this problem. You could watch me self a live in the contest now. What a what a, oops what a mess. I've already probably done Q2. Does this nine eight mean? Five to zero is three. Why isn't five one? What is zero to one is eight? Zero to one is eight. Okay. Oh, oh, five to zero. Wait, what? I J. To oh, column. Okay. Wow, this is yikes. But this is such a reading mess. Um, okay. M times N is 25,000 times. Can't be fast enough. I don't even know anymore. Each cell we do 50. So that should be okay, right? No, no, it's C squared. So that's 8 times 50. Eight times 50. Yeah, that still should be okay. Okay, fine. <coughs>
Hmm. Maybe that's not great actually. Okay. That's not right, is it? Two and four doesn't seem right. This is not a hard problem, but I am way bad. Five to zero, right? Oh, this is this minus one. Yikes. Mm, still wrong, though. 14. Minimum here is three. That's right. That's right. <coughs> Oh, some of the costs as well. Uh, okay, so I think we're mostly done then. Um, <coughs> root plus square of r minus 1, i, and then now i for i. Sloppy. Hopefully that's right. Okay. We're gone. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem or this problem. Uh stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye bye.